Today we have an Intutu benchmark run between the Xiaomi Mi CC9 Pro Premium Edition aka Mi Note 10 Pro, the Realme X2 Pro, the Vivo Nex 3 5G, the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Guys this is Technic and without further ado, let's go! So starting up here with the Xiaomi Mi CC9 Pro Premium Edition, this is paired with an 8, 8 gigs of RAM because this is the Premium Edition. It also comes paired with a Snapdragon 730G processing chip. This is a mid-range chip but the G does stand for gaming. So we're going to be using the game turbo mode in order to run Antutu. Antutu is currently built on version 8.1.4 over here and that's what we have it on on the CC9 Pro Premium Edition. The Realme X2 Pro is paired with 8 gigs of RAM as well but steps things up with a flagship best of the year so far Snapdragon 855 Plus processing chip which increases performance by 15% in the GPU department as opposed to the vanilla Snapdragon 855. We also have a 90Hz display over there and we have high performance mode which we will enable for the use of this test since we do get better results with high performance mode on. We're also going to shoot into Antutu version 8.1.4 over here on the Realme X2 Pro. Next we have the Vivo Next 5G and and this is pretty similar to the Realme X2 Pro with 8 gigs of RAM and a Snapdragon 855 Plus processing chip under the hood. Bear in mind this is 7 nanometer technology, the 855 Plus, as well as the Realme, but the Xiaomi is 8 nanometer technology with the Snapdragon 730G chipset. So we have run Antutu version 8.1.4 through Ultra Game Mode over there, and the next phone on the bunch is the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. This has 12 gigs of RAM, the highest out of all phones over here, and paired with a vanilla Snapdragon 855 processing chip, even though that the 855 Plus was available when this phone was released, this is not a gaming phone. So we do have high performance mode over here, though it doesn't do much, it just doesn't put a limit on the CPU and GPU, and we have left the screen to WQHD Plus since the iPhone cannot be changed, so we have something to compare it to, so that should be pretty interesting. We also have version 8.1.4 on Antutu over here, so it'll be interesting to see how this stacks up against the other Androids and this beast over here, the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Though it only has 4 gigs of RAM, it has really good optimization with its A13 Bionic 7 nanometer plus chipset in it, and we only have version 8.0.2 because this is an iPhone version of Antutu, so it should be pretty interesting to see how it stacks up against the others. I haven't tested an iPhone in the Antutu benchmark run yet since version 8 was not out but now it is out and as you guys can see the battery at starts all of them are at 100% I pretty much just took them out of charge each and every single device to see how much drain we get from Antutu on each and every phone also made sure to close all additional apps over there and just shooting through this as fast as possible guys I have sped Antutu up up to by 1600 times so don't mind that if it's going extremely fast this is world breaking performance over here it is shooting straight through this but no honestly guys it took about eight minutes to run through the test here so no biggie over here what i did notice is that the iphone did shoot through it a lot quicker we do have the same of everything running through it but it already finished and it, the other phones are still pretty busy doing their thing but the vivo then finished then the realme and then we shot over to the xiaomi at the end with the battery at the end we lost the least amount of battery with the xiaomi only three percent battery but remember it has the biggest battery at over five 5,000 milliamp years but then the real me with only 4,000 milliamp year battery only lost 4% so I'm really impressed with that since the other phones have bigger batteries except for the iPhone and talking about the iPhone it came in first place with the highest points of 522,000 the highest CPU GPU and user experience second place the Vivo Next 3 5G with the highest memory third place the real me x2 Pro with the second highest GPU and user experience and in fourth place we have the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus with the second highest memory and in last place fortunately but unfortunately the Xiaomi CC9 Pro Premium Edition with the lowest of everything but we were pretty much expecting that when it comes to battery temperatures over here we have first place the iPhone with 27.5 degrees Celsius second the Vivo with 30.2 Third, the Realme with 31.2. Fourth, the Xiaomi with 31.5. And last, the Samsung with 32.1. So all pretty similar over here. Though the iPhone is definitely the coolest. Though I did have to use another app since Antutu doesn't show that information yet. And it doesn't show CPU temps either. That's why it is completely unknown. I tried to do this as best as I could, but it wasn't there. And in first place for the CPU temps, we have the Samsung with 31 degrees. Second, Xiaomi 34. Third, the Vivo with 36.5. And fourth, the Realme X2 Pro with 37.5. I'm really impressed with all of them over here guys a good shout out to the iPhone there though But I do think that the Vivo is an absolute monster when it comes to testing and tutu Hope that you guys enjoyed this test as much as I did making it and until next time guys. This is Technic